So really, really interesting news coming out of the British Medical Journal, looking at the article right here. They just did a groundbreaking study looking at the impact of nutrition on COVID infections. So the British Medical Journal is a very prestigious journal, and the research was done by Dr. Siegelman at Columbia University. And what they did is they studied almost 3,000 frontline workers, doctors and nurses with high exposures to COVID, and looked at the rates of moderate to severe COVID infections and compared that to their diets. Now, they adjusted the results for weight, exercise, smoking, PPE, underlying health conditions to make sure there weren't any confounding factors. Here's what the results showed. So it showed that people, doctors and nurses on plant-based diets, had a 73% lower risk of getting moderate to severe COVID infections. Really, really dramatic. 73% lower risk of moderate to severe COVID infections. They also found that doctors and nurses on a pescatarian diet, which is plant-based plus, plus fish, right? So plant-based plus fish, they had a 59% lower risk of moderate to severe COVID than the standard population. So definitely better than standard, 59% lower risk is great, but that's still 14% worse off than people who ate the plants without the fish. So very interesting. Then they looked at the doctors and nurses who were on a high protein, low carb diet. So keto um, or sometimes a paleo. So they're doing high animal protein, low carb, and what they found is those doctors and nurses had a 48% higher risk of moderate to severe COVID infections, 48% higher risk than the standard population. So even though they could use that high protein, low carb diet to look fit, they're actually making their immune system almost 50% worse off than the people who are not even looking after their diet at all. So the folks in the study, their analysis, they said most likely the issue is that people on high meat diets aren't getting nutrition. They're not getting nutrients, that those are low nutrient foods. Yes, people on plant-based diets are getting a lot of nutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. Where do all those good phytonutrients come from? They come from plants. So that is very dramatic to have a 73% lower risk of moderate to severe COVID on a plant-based diet versus a 48% higher risk of COVID on a high meat, low carb diet. So just as I've said before, when I was arguing with another doctor on Fox News, and he was telling me that he thinks the paleo diet is better for weight loss. My answer was, there's lots of ways to lose weight uh, while getting a higher risk of cancer and heart disease. You could try smoking or you can eat keto, right? Well, now we're finding is not only is it raising your risk of heart disease and cancer, it's raising your risk of having a moderate to severe infection from COVID, which means it's raising your risk of dying from COVID. So this is really, really important news, okay? If you wanna have a properly functioning immune system, you gotta eat a plant-based diet. If you eat a mostly plant-based diet with fish, you've got almost a 60% better chance. If you eat an entirely plant-based diet, 73% lower risk. And they didn't even look at the different types of plant-based diets. I would posit that if you eat a hyper-nourishing plant-based diet, your risks are gonna be even lower than that. We've had people with long haul COVID do our rapid recovery group who within three weeks, their sense of smell was back, their energy was back, they were feeling great. And those people actually were plant-based. So the optimization of adding in the uh, hyper nourishment part is really going to take you from uh, an immune system that barely works to one that works better than most to one that works optimally. So really, really important news. By the way, they also found that people on a plant-based diet had a lower risk of getting COVID at all. Now they're going to go back and study that to see what they can make of it. But it's really, really important news that I think we need to consider. I'm not saying to go out there and, you know, just take off your mask and expose yourself. But I'm saying that if you want to have the optimal health possible, whether it's because of COVID or you've got autoimmune disease or you just want optimal health, the path to get there is eating your plants.